so I'm going to uh, give you a tutorial for this bag it's a tote bag from one sheet of 12 inch uh, paper it holds up to 18 cards and that will be another tutorial and it is six inches and a quarter six and an eighth inch wide and I made it six and an eighth inch wide because I wanted to fit a six uh, paper, six inch paper pad inside so yeah I hope you enjoy so let's start the tutorial I used a paper that is 12 by 12 inches and then I cut it to 10 and a half by 12 inches long the thing that you cut off are the handles you just divide them by two and then you cut them like that in that line and this is not quite um, 12 by 12 inch this so normally this should be one and a half inch and then you have three fourth of an inch for your handles but this is a little bit less it's no big deal you just divide it by two and you cut it in half then you have two handles for the rest you score at the ten and a half side you're going to score at four and an eighth and six and three eighths i'm going to do that right now so four and an eighth and six and three eighths that's here and you're going to mark with a pencil from both sides at three and three quarters so here's my first mark at three and three quarters and here's my second mark at three and three quarters so those marks you put on both sides of your papers so up and down and that's besides the score lines then you're going to rotate your paper and on the 12 inch side you're going to mark it's three inches minus 1 16 1 16 is not on your scoreboard it's in between the three and the two seven eighth that's where you put a mark and you do that on the same side of this one so three minus 1 16 and you do that on both sides of the papers and that's for now the scoring that you're going to do then you are going to draw let me put this aside then you're going to draw a line on that 12 uh, inch mark where you uh, put those uh, marks you're going to draw a line but up uh, until I, I don't know if you can see the score lines here in this paper oh you can't well <laughs> i can put my example uh, on it you're going to put a line draw a line that is up till the score line that you just scored so you have to draw this line up till here and this line up to here and you do that on both sides then you're going to rotate the paper and we put marks on the 10 uh, uh, in 10 and a half inside on three three quarters and we just take the pencil and from that line you're going to put a line up there from this line you're going to mark a line here so that you get four quarters that we are going to cut off so yet again i'm going to put it here so this is where you what you end up with that's these lines so these lines you cut until the score line this one you just cut off these long lines you cut until the score line but you cut it off above that so that you have two little tabs on the outsides you need those two tabs so that's what i'm going to cut and i will be right back then we are going to score these sides these tiny uh, sides that are left over you can do that with your uh, ruler that's for me it's that's a lot easier than to just pull out everything but you can do it on your scoring machine or with your ruler i just score them like this and this and now we 
are going to fold everything. Um, I want mine to be like this. And yet again, in another tutorial, I say that also, uh, I always fold down. So if I score here, I always fold my paper down. Uh, that's my way of doing it. It's not the best way, perhaps, but it's my way. I see that I did not cut it all the way up to the line here. So that's not so pretty because it teared. You have to cut it all the way up there. I will fix that later. Did I cut this? Yeah. So you're going to fold this in and you're going to fold these in and you're going to fold these in and then we are going to fold these tiny ones in. And now you're going to cut those tiny corners in. So the corners that are here, I'm going to cut them in like this. Maybe I can show you from the other side. This one was uh, tore, so I already did that one. But here we have the other ones. I'm going to cut it in in an angle like that. And here I'm going to cut it in an angle. Well, it's better if you fold them first, Sandra. <laughs> so, and you can see better where to cut, like so. So you're left with this, those tiny uh, holes here, or <laughs> not just here. And this is the whole uh, bag, if you fold it like that. It's the size that is a little bit bigger than that one. So that's it. Then we are going to round off the corners. I'm using the Crocodile Corner Chomper for this. And I use the uh, half an inch side. So it rounds off those corners. Sorry. Like so. And then this is all the scraps that we are having <laughs> until now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a dot of glue on that tear that I made. I always use my fabric glue for these things because they glue a little bit better and faster then the tacky glue does and well it's for fabric but paper is fiber and i uh, noticed that if you want to have something glued quickly and good then i just use my fabric glue so for the pockets you have four uh, of those uh, corners that you cut out and the pockets are going to be like this two of them are going to be uh, long sided and two of them are going to be high of like that smaller but the height is going to be the same so we have to adjust two of those uh, corners Okay, so now we are going to fold all those score lines and make small pockets out of them. And that's pretty easy and standard. You're just going to fold them and you're going to cut the corners off here. And you're going to cut up till the score lines 
across each other and then just cut off the corners. And those are all the scraps that we have from the, all that paper. So you're going to do that on all the sides. That's it. That's all the waste. In this corner we have all the waste of that one a big sheet of 12 by 12 paper and that's the same uh, as with the 6 by 6 and the 8 by 8 and these are my four corners or four pockets sorry so here we have that tote bag and then I see I have text on my uh, you can't really see the text but I do have text on this and I'm going to use the other side as the front so you can choose where you want your pockets. I have smaller pockets that can go on the side. And I can do like two small pockets on the side. And two of those larger pockets on the front. Like so. I wanted to tell you something about the side pockets. If you want to use that smaller one as a side pocket, I suggest that you score it again because now as you can see side pocket is almost as high as your bag is so uh, if you want to use this side pocket I scored it uh, again on 3 eighths of an inch I folded it inside so I glued it down folded it in and then uh, I put it on the side so it's a little bit lower so that's what I did with this one that's a little bit lower and you can do that with this one. and you can do with your decorative papers that you can use extra you can make another pocket here another uh, thing is what I do mostly do with my little bags is I'm gonna put one here and what bigger there and the other one opposite of that a bigger one here and a bigger one there so there are some options here I'm gonna put them down like this because that's what I like in my uh, bags so we are gonna do that next we're gonna glue the first uh, down back simple very simple you just glue the sides of the pocket the side pocket no this is not the side pocket <laughs> the side you just glue one side you keep it like this and you just close it hold it for a moment and that's all there is to this uh, purse it is tote bag, mini tote bag. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to do one side, going to do the other side. And just glue it that way. Put my finger down under it. So the glue holds, and yeah, that's this one, and I'm going to attach the other sides. I had to make another one from a different color because I made the handles differently, so this time I have a blue one. And what we are going to do is to take the handles that we cut off in the beginning. I inked them in. I inked everything in here. And then you decide whether you want your handles to be like this color or this color. And I decided that I wanted the blue color. And what you have is your grid lines on your mat. I always use a mat with this. And you just place your uh, tote bag on the corner. I don't know if that shows. I will see if I can zoom it in a little. Like so. Okay, we'll take this corner. This corner right here. 
and I place my toad mat on that and then I'll place my um, long strip on it and then I want that side to show so I put it down like a half an inch in from this a stripe and then, then uh, uh, like uh, I think three quarters of an inch down I don't know if that shows here but it's this corner that I'm using so yeah that's what I'm trying to do line it up and glue it in like a little bit of glue on the part of the inside of the, the tote bag and a little bit of glue on the bottom of my strip and then I'm just going to place it there, keep this in line with the grid lines and I'm going to place my paper there, hold it, make sure here you can see it's straight, so that's one, keep it as straight as possible, so I just keep it a little bit, I let it dry, I didn't use my fabric glue, I will take my fabric glue so that dries a little bit faster than the taggy glue but that's just for this purpose for filming then I'm going to flip it around and do the other one so again I'll take a corner of this line it up so I'll put a little bit of glue here and again just like half an inch from the side and to the first grid line you see I think it's three quarters of an inch and you just put a little bit of glue on the handle I place it down since I have a centimeter mat it's one centimeter and about two centimeters down and one centimeter from the side and in English it's like half an inch and three quarters of an inch down so I glue this one in and then I can turn it back around I just eyeball it that this one is on the grid, li grid lines and then again I just put some glue over here and I'm going to put some glue on the back of this one you have to take a bone folder and just uh, round your uh, paper and then it goes way easier <laughs> I just forgot that step so that's why it doesn't fold as easy as I hoped okay so again I'm gonna take it to that grid line and then push it down like so that's where it comes that's the first one that's the first handle keep it there and then I'm going to do the other one I just bend this forward a little bit so it's a bit flexible Again for the last one, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the handle here and I'm going to put some glue on the inside of this one, line it up and try to push it down on the place where I want it. and try to keep it straight it's also nice to keep it a little bit straight so that's how I do my handles and then this tote bag is finished you can decorate it the way you like it and yeah this is the blue one I'm going to decorate it in uh, I think white and other blues and this is the original one and that's why I didn't film it because I have a totally different handle 
I didn't really like it, so I didn't want to bother you with that technique because it actually failed a little bit. But this is the technique that I use for my handles. If you think the handles are too high, I don't, but if you think that, you can always chop a little bit off of these strips, make sure they're equal, and then stick them on. So yeah, those are the tote bags. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description box below. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.